Hello and welcome to another Apple M-Series how-to video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to restore your M-Series Mac, so that could be an M1 MacBook, an M2 MacBook, or any future M-Series Macs, from your Time Machine backup. The process to do this from an M-Series Mac is different to Intel versions of Mac OS, so I'll be guiding you through the process on the M-Series Mac. Before we get started, please ensure you have your Time Machine backup drive connected to your computer. If it's a network drive, ensure it can be connected to your computer. If your drive is encrypted, make sure you have your password handy. The first step we're going to need to do is shut down the computer. So to shut down the computer, you can come to the Apple logo in the top left corner of the screen and press shut down. Once your computer has shut down, restart the computer, but press and hold the power button until the startup menu appears, like so. Release the power button when it says loading startup options. Once the startup options have loaded, proceed to the options setting with the system preferences icon and press continue. Your computer will now boot into recovery mode. This may take some time depending on your computer, so please be patient. For the purpose of this video, I have not sped up any of the loading times. Once Mac OS recovery loads, you will have to select which volume you want to recover if you have multiple volumes on your computer. Select the volume that you want to recover and press next. You will be prompted to select a user that you know the password for on that volume and enter that user's password. Once you have entered the password, press continue. You will now be directed to the main home screen of the recovery mode. The top option is to restore your computer from a time machine backup. So for the purpose of this video, this is the option that we want to select. So select restore from time machine backup and press continue. Some information will be provided to you regarding restoring from the time machine backup including that restoring from the Time Machine Backup will erase all the data on the disk that you are restoring it to. And if you want to move data from an old computer to a new computer, to use Migration Assistant instead. Once you have read all of those um, details, press Continue. It will now search for Time Machine Backups. If your backup is on a server, you can press Other Server and enter the address of your server. My Time Machine Backup is shown here, so I will select it and press Connect, or if it is a physical drive, it will be Continue. If your backup drive is encrypted, you will be prompted to enter its password when you select the drive. Please enter your password when prompted. Once you have entered the password, press Continue. If your drive was encrypted, once you have entered its password, you will see all the backups of computers on that drive. If your drive is not encrypted, this will show up right away. Select your computer from the list of backups. It will be depicted by your given computer's name and press continue. It may take some time to open your Time Machine backup depending on what type of backup drive you are using. Once your computer connects to your backup drive, you will be presented with a list of all your backups including the date and time of the backups. Select which backup you would like to restore from. If you are having an issue with your computer and that is the reason you are reinstalling um, from a fresh backup, make sure you select the backup from before when the issue started persisting. 
select your backup and then press continue. For the purpose of this video I will not press continue as it will erase my disk and restore from this backup but once you press continue you will be guided through the following steps and your computer will start doing the automated restore process. Depending on the size of your backup this can take from 1 to 2 hours to 12, 15, even maybe a whole day to restore from your backup. Once the backup is restored, you will be prompted to create new passwords for all the users on the computer and then some system files will not be restored but everything else will be restored and your computer will be like it was on the date and time of the selected backup. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them and let me know any other Mac tutorial videos you would like. Thanks for watching. Peace.